website. Now, early one evening in February, three men who were armed with crowbars, a knife and a sledgehammer stormed into the Essex home of John and Mary Cunningham. For nearly an hour, the couple were kicked and beaten as the thugs made increasingly desperate demands for their cash. Tonight, the Cunninghams are hoping you can help get this gang behind bars before they strike again. My mother bought this little cottage in 1963, and uh, it's been in the family since then. I, I like the place. It's got its sort of character and the garden, and just, it's our home. It's, it's the centre point of my life. John and I have been married nearly 35 years. Um, we've both got big birthdays this year, and uh, really a year to celebrate. A sort of special year on the calendar. It's a relationship that I think is very strong because we work together. We're virtually in each other's pockets 24 hours a day. And what can I say? She's she's um, backbone of my my marriage, my life, my my business. It was a normal Friday. Um, I had been working. We run a business from the office above the garage. I don't know about other people, but when you come to Friday afternoon, you have that sort of feeling, you know, week's finished, look forward to the weekend. I finished work about four o'clock in our yard, it, which is about three miles from here, came home about quarter past four. It's getting sort of dusky then. Thank you very much, all of you. We'll get to know more about each of you throughout the show as it goes along. So that just leaves one more person for me to introduce. Google Glass was... I looked out over the road and I saw this car um, with people in it, just sitting, staring in. Hello. No lights on the car, and I thought, this is a bit strange. John? I am well. Oh, I'm home. <laughs> Hi. Didn't think any more of it. This year, we were going to have a very special holiday uh, because our wedding anniversary, we had our brochures under the table. Literally, on the day, we had finalised the insurance and everything. We were looking forward to that. I heard a sort of, like, a shuffling at the back door. What's your money? What's it? The door burst open. They switched the lights off and came bouncing through them, shouting and swearing and on the floor, on the floor, with these crowbars. What are you doing in my home? You have a safe. And I immediately noticed crowbars and one had a sledgehammer. Um, what are they going to do to us? We haven't got anything. Where is the safe? There is no safe. I said naively, oh, here you are. I have the money out of my wallet, to my purse. Here's money. The most money. Take this. Take this. And I said, take the car keys. Here's the car keys. Take the car keys. Go. No, no, no. You've got a safe. Oh. Shut up! Um, and I got a slap to be quiet. Mary! I got the leather glove over my mouth and told to shut up. Oh, shut shut up. up! What are you doing? I know you have a safe. Where is it? What is it? We haven't got a safe. There's a man! There was um, one who did most of the uh, talking um, and seemed to be, well, he obviously told the others what to do. Oh. Go find the safe! Oh. They ransacked the place in bedrooms and parcels and pulling drawers out, looking for cash. Our son's old bedroom, he'd got some loose change and some foreign currency in a drawer up there, which I, I didn't even know was there. I think it was some euros and some, I think it was about 20, 30 quid in cash. And then he, they found that and they thought, oh, this is exciting. Uh, I think there's more then. You right! By then, I mean, I was shaking with fear. John was dragged from the floor. Um, and taken through to the study, and the door closed. I know you have money. He found about a thousand pounds, twelve hundred pounds in the desk drawer, petty cash. 
I know you have more. That's when he gave me a bit of a Where pasting. There is more money. Where is the safe? That's all the money there is. Don't lie to me. Don't say no. I was sitting in the kitchen um, with the third one um, watching me. I was concerned because I could hear raised voices. It was just a horrible feeling not knowing where it would end because they were demanding to see our safe. They were convinced we had a safe, um, which we don't. He was brought out. Get out. <laughs> John, John. I think John said, you got our money and you're going. They said, no, what's over there? Nothing over here. We dragged over to the office, frightened me. He didn't put me in a hammerlock, but he was right beside me, kept pushing me with his knees. He was getting very, very agitated and very, very impatient. Where is the safe? There's no safe. There is. Oh, and then he went mad. He started um, tearing into things, all through the drawers, and pulling files out. And he was getting pretty fed up with me. He'd need me hard in the in the kidneys, which really uh, I thought I was going to pass out. The adrenaline was there, the, the fight to start with, and then I think that runs out. You have like a, a defeated feeling. There's something very degrading about somebody standing over you with a crowbar. There's something sordid about it. He couldn't find anything else, so he marched me down the stairs and back over to the, to the cottage here, into the kitchen. They grabbed an apron off the back of the kitchen door, laid it on the table, put all the money in it, and left. That was sheer relief. We're just out of our, out of our house. I wouldn't call them people, to be honest. Um, I mean, they're not human beings, as I recognize human beings. Sewer rats, they come in uninvited, don't they? They pick at people's lives, scavenged, horrible, dirty. Mm, I think I'll stick with sewer rats. It's a scar. I think it's going to take a long, long time to get over it. They're Romans, and by God, I hope they get caught. I desperately hope they get caught. And with your help, they will be. DS Michael Pennell is leading on this case. This was so horrific, so brutal on John and Mary. Why were they targeted, do you think? Well, they were convinced that they had a safe and they don't have a safe. John and Mary run a small local business. Mm. They had some savings in the house which they sort of put together towards their anniversary. Mary called them sewer rats. Do we know anything about the, the men who did it, the weapons they were carrying? They've been described as Eastern European and that comes from their accents. And they were wearing tough workwear. Two had black jackets, one had a dark green or khaki coloured jacket on. Um, with a distinctive logo across all three, which starts on the chest and moves across to the arm, which looks something like what we've got here on the screen. Mm, OK, and what do we know about the car they used? Well, the car was described um, by John as being dark in appearance, right. and that's about as much as we've got, so we haven't got a specific make and model. Mm -hmm. And what we do know is it was parked on the boundary of their property, right by a bend on the road, so anyone that would have been driving along that road would have had to swerve to avoid it which is certainly one of our appeal points. Someone may have been there and seen that. And we also know that there was a vehicle parked opposite um, shortly before the offence took place, which John saw, which he thought may have been a Volkswagen. But again, we're not sure. We just know it was a dark vehicle. OK. John and Mary, clearly very affected by this. How are they now? It was a very distressing ordeal for them to go yeah. through. Well, they have made a full recovery. And they've tightened security as well, we should say, at the cottage, haven't they? We've supported them with that, and they've installed an extensive alarm and CCTV system, which is obviously going to deter any future occurrences. Finally, there is a reward on this case. That's right. There's a £5,000 Crime Stoppers Award, which has been um, 
put out there and hopefully catch these people. All right. And that's for any information that leads to the arrest and uh, any conviction. Information any information that, that leads, leads to the arrest and conviction. Okay, thanks very much for clarifying that.